What is up, guys? My name is Achero, and welcome to episode 4.5 of uh, 3D Java Game Programming. Okay, um, yeah, this is sort of like a bonus sort of episode where I um, really wanted to sort of focus on one thing. It's going to be a really short video, and that is the way that this works, because um, I don't feel that I explained it well, and, you know, I've gotten messages saying, um, could you explain it better? So, um, I think that the best way to explain this is to actually demonstrate. So, um, this is sort of what we had, and um, the way that it renders, the way that it draws, how does all this code work? Okay, um, the best way I think to explain it is to simply add, you know, system.out.println into this for loop um, in the render class, print line, and we're just going to print x um, plus x plus, and I'll explain this in a minute. Y plus Y. Okay, so what what is doing is it's pr it's printing like a string of text um, that says X and it's printing the X um, variable. Uh, so what you can see is if I go into the console and I run this, save it. Okay, let's exit out of this and let's sort of en enlarge this console and take a look at this. Um, and we'll also take a look at paint.net because paint.net is, is fast becoming my favorite way to explain pixels to people with this little grid thing. The grid is awesome. Okay, so we can say that, you know, at y, when y is 108, it's creating all these x values. So say that this, um, say that this pixel is number 108 down, yeah? For each 108, it's creating the entire range of all these pixels across X and it will stop at 255. Well, it's technically 256 if we saw, if we, oh, we don't have that. But you can see that it starts at zero, not at one, because that's the way the Java works. Um, <clears throat> uh, so yeah, it's printing 256 because 256 is the amount that we've specified in our screen class. So 256 basically fills up this y value because it's render dot height. Um, so yeah, that's that's how it works. I hope that this will sort of help you explain um, more things. And you know, when y when the y pixel number is one hundred nine, it'll render all of the x pixels across. So it's effectively rendering um, in lines like this. You know, it'll render this one first, then it'll go on to this one, then it, it will render this one, and so on and so forth. So it's rendering two 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 two. It's rendering that way across the screen. Um, hopefully those sound effects help you guys out. Okay, so that's a really quick episode. Um, don't worry, episode 5, where we actually move on to animating stuff, uh, animating the pixels, and I'll actually I actually fix a lot of bugs as well, because I've already recorded episode 5. Um, that will that will be up today. That'll be, that, that will be up a few hours after this video. So don't worry, you're still getting a full episode today. I just really wanted to put this in. Okay, see you guys later. Bye.